Hey everyone, in this week's episode of Monkey Shorts, the Data Monkey and I would like to show you a cool tip that we learned from Wynn Hopkins of Power Query Magic on how to help document your queries a little bit better. So if I take a look on the right hand side here, you'll see that I've got some cool step headers here like create date column with this nice little arrow and a little information note on it. Add month column, same thing, gives me a nice uh, bolded header on the, the hover text with the uh, description underneath it. Same with these add day columns. So how do we go about actually doing this? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to identify where there's a logical break. So you'll notice that I've got a whole bunch of different day formulas here. And then at this point we get to fiscal year. So everything here I've got that I've renamed to be fiscal periods. So I'd like a break between these. So I'm going to select the last piece or last step in the uh, group that I've got here. I'm going to go up to the formula bar, press the FX button, and this will insert a new step that refers to calendar day short. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to choose to rename it. And here's where the big trick comes in on this. We're going to press Windows period or Windows full stop. And that brings up your emoji browser in any Windows program. Uh, I'm going to type in play. This is the icon that we found works the best. That gives us the play button. So we're going to click on insert and it goes right there, shows up. So I can now go in here and type the rest of the text that I want to use here which is add fiscal columns. I just got that from Windows V because I had it in my pace history. And there we are. So I've now got a cool looking new step name. But what about the information icon? To get to that, what I need to do is I need to go into the properties of the step. And right in here, I'm gonna go in and paste in a nice little uh, description for that. So again, Windows V, I have this in my paste buffer. And here we go, this creates columns for each fiscal period. Once it loads, you can see that now we've got everything we need, the header, and the description. Let's do one more. We'll put one after fiscal quarter here. Again, back to the FX button, insert a new step. And this time I'm gonna do it all in one. I'm gonna go right click and go to properties. We're gonna go up here for our custom, We're gonna go Windows period, put in my play emoji. There we go. Actually, I can also switch right over to my clipboard history from here, which is pretty cool. We'll call this final cleanup. And then right here, Windows V, uh, I'm going to put in remove all unnecessary columns and OK. And as soon as it finishes recalculating, boom, there we go. Nice header there. So hopefully you'll find, hopefully you'll find this is a quick tip to help you uh, make your queries a little bit more descriptive and sort of help people understand what the flow is that you're actually trying to do. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.